Okay, I have seven o'clock. We'll call the meeting to order. Please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, roll call all current sitting council members, seven of them are present. I will go to old business, approval of minutes, the regular meeting minutes of January 7th, 2021, and the special meeting minutes of January 11th, 2021 are attached. I need a motion to approve the regular meeting minutes of January 7th, 2021, and the special meeting minutes of January 11th, 2021, as presented. So I'll move. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion on the minutes? Mr. No? Bueller? Yes. Mr. Brungart? Yes. Mr. Studnicka? Yes. Mr. Trinkle? Yes. Mr. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Mr. Garvey? Yes. Motion passed. New business, audience participation, I've been told we have no participation, so we'll move on to presentations. Um, item number two is the oath of office for council member award four. So, Sarah, you got this. Hi, Ron Dixon. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Kansas. And the Constitution of the State of Kansas. And faithfully discharge the duties of council member. And faithfully discharge the duties of council member. Of the City of Lansing. Of the City of Lansing. State of Kansas. State of Kansas. Go ahead and Welcome. Okay, items for council consideration, election of council president. The governing body shall elect one of its own as president of the council at the second meeting in January for the city code. So the council will need to elect a member of the council as president of the council. So we're open Mayor, for Mayor, I nominate uh, Mr. Kirby. <clears throat> Mayor, I'd like to nominate Don Studnicka. Mayor, I'd like to nominate Don Studnicka. I'll second that. Okay. Did I, I, don't I believe have two the, nominations. I don't believe the motion for Mr. Kirby had a second. Correct. Day. The nomination right. for Mr. Kirby did not have a second. Right. So is there a second for Mr. Kirby, even though Mr. Kirby just seconded Don Studnicka's? <laughs> I'll second it. Okay. Well, that answers my question. <laughs> so we have a, a nomination and a second for Mr. Kirby and Mr. Studnicka. Okay, so I need a motion. Actually, we're going to vote on each one of those. So we'll go with the first nomination. Uh, Mr. Kirby, call the roll. Mr. Bueller? No. Mr. Dixon? Mr. Brungard? Yes. Mr. Studnicka? No. Mr. Trinkle? Yes. Mr. Kirby? No. Mr. Major? No. Mr. Garvey? No. Did not pass, so we will now vote for Don Studnicka. Mr. Bueller? Yes. Mr. Dixon? Yes, Mr. Brungart? No. Mr. Stutnicka? Yes. Mr. Trinkle? No. Mr. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Mr. Garvey? Yes. Okay, we have a nomination. So uh, I need a motion to elect and appoint Mr. Don Studnicka as a council president. 
So moved. moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Mr. Bueller? Yes. Mr. Dixon? Abstain. Mr. Brungart? Yes. Mr. Studnicka? Yes. Cool. Yes. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Mr. Garvey? Yes. We give it a try there, Gene, but it didn't work. Motion passed. Next item is the Lansing Planning Commission appointment. A vacancy exists in the Planning Commission whose term will expire on April 30th, 2023. The position was advertised and one application was received. Therefore, I need an, a motion to appoint Richard Hannon to the Lansing Planning Commission for a term that will expire on 30 April, 2023. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Call the roll. Mr. Bueller? Yes. Mr. Dixon? Abstain. Mr. Brungart? Yes. Mr. Stednica? Yes. Mr. Trinkle? Yes. Mr. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Mr. Garvey? Yes. <clears throat> A city engineer appointment is the next item. The city engineer position has become open and the public works director, Michael Strickermeyer, has expressed interest in filling the position as he is a registered professional engineer. Myself with the consent from the council can appoint Mr. Strickermeyer as the city engineer. So I need a motion to appoint Michael W. Strickermeyer PE, a registered professional engineer in the state of Kansas as a city engineer for the city of Lansing. So moved. Second. second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Does that, I have a question. Okay. Go ahead. Does that mean that uh, when a contract runs out on uh, Mr. Harding, we will not, we won't renew that? The, the contract ran out about a week or two ago. Okay. Any, anyone else? Okay, call the roll. Mr. Bueller? Yes. Mr. Dixon? Yeah. Mr. Brungart? Yes. Mr. Stepnika? Yes. Mr. Trinkle? Yes. Mr. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Mr. Garvey? Yes. Motion passed. Item number six, request to use the activity center after hours by the Boy Scouts. The Boy Scouts are hosting their annual anti campout and have requested to use the activity center after hours. The special event application and all applicable insurance documents have been received. I need, an act, I need a motion to approve the request from Mr. Matthew Bloom and the Boy Scout Troop 165 for use of the Lansing Activity Center from February 20th to February 21st, 2021, as requested. So move. Second. second. <clears throat> Motion and a second. All right, any discussion? Yeah, what are they gonna be doing uh, as far as uh, COVID rules? Are they gonna be doing social distancing, wearing masks? What, what's gonna be the plan for that? We. So I can speak to that. Uh, we're going to follow the CDC and the BSA guidelines that have been established since last summer. Uh, the BSA actually just sent out an update. I forwarded to Mr. Crum a, a link to the guidance, but we followed that. They had good success with it last summer and all the summer camps. So we've had good success with it all this fall. The basic stuff includes we'll screen people for any symptoms prior to the event. We'll take their temperature as they arrive. Uh, we'll make sure that they're wearing masks and washing hands as well. Uh, we'll maintain social distancing, although that is actually relatively easy. We'll have the gym space, uh, and the boys aren't going to be all hanging around in a cluster. They'll probably be in uh, several small groups, but it'll be easy to keep them apart. We don't have to worry about uh, anyone staying in the same tent, but up to this point, you know, we've not kept anybody but immediate family members, i.e. brothers, in the same tent uh, when we've done campouts. But that's about it. Like I said, I, I forwarded a copy of that to Mr. Crum as well, and it's straight from the BSA, and that's what we follow. Sounds good. Thank you. 
Any other discussion? Sir, call on. Mr. Bueller? Yes. Mr. Dixon? Yes. Mr. Brungart? Yes. Mr. Stebnica? Yes. Mr. Trinkle? Yes. Mr. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Mr. Garvey? Yes. And motion passed. Mr. Blum, tell your kids hello. Thank you, sir, and thank you, gentlemen, for helping us. Thanks for being on the call, Matthew. Reports, so department heads. Nope. Anything? City attorney, is he on? <laughs> yes, sir, nothing to report, Mayor. Yep, okay. City administrator, Tim. A few things. We received our annual insurance renewal last week. Um, our current provider traveler's insurance uh, was the second lowest. Uh, there was a different provider that came in about $4,000 less than them. Uh, however, you know, staff has a little bit of concerns that uh, you know, one company might come in, undercut something by just a few thousand dollars one year and then increase it significantly the following year. Uh, the last time we switched insurance providers, it amounted to a savings of like $30,000. Uh, so even though uh, our current provider travelers was $4,000 higher than the low bid, uh, staff would prefer to stay with travelers um, just to keep that continuity going. Um, I'm, I'm open to any feedback the governing body has. Sarah, uh, have I missed anything? Or um, I was just going to add that when we changed to travelers, just to give you guys an idea of how recent that was, that was for the 2019 uh, insurance year. So it was a fairly recent move that we've made. So in discussions with Tim, we definitely felt that um, staying with our current provider, even though there is a little bit more um, in terms of cost, um, makes the most sense. So we're not jumping from carrier to carrier year after year. I figure you know what you're getting when you stick with the same company you've been using, right? That is true, yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay. Thank you, you all. Um, we've invited Leavenworth County to come to a future city council meeting to discuss the Eastern Gateway Bridge proposal. It looks like uh, Commissioner Culbertson and their public works director, Bill Knoll, will tentatively come to the February 18th city council meeting to, uh, to go over that proposal. Um, so uh, I, I did want to pass that along to you all. Another thing, um, you all might remember our, our current mask requirement expires on January 31st. Um, I did speak to the public health officer a little bit. He felt 30 day extension uh, might be appropriate, uh, but I'm open to whatever the city council wants to do. If that's something you think is worth uh, evaluating and extending for another 30 days, I could have something prepared prior to the work session next week. And you guys could do a, a brief special meeting prior to the work session next week if you'd like to do that. Um, otherwise, if we don't take any action, it would expire on January 31st. Extension, yes. I, I agree, but let's just go until the last day of February instead of 30 days, which would put it like at March 3rd or something. Good point. I can do that. Yeah, I, I'm okay. Uh, Tong and Oxy extended theirs uh, 60 days the other day. Leavenworth's got it on their agenda for next week. And, uh, you know, the numbers are finally starting to look good. In November, we were at 16% positive. Uh, as of January 17th, we were 8.62. So almost cut it in half. I think kind of coincides with the mask mandate. Uh, things looking to be going pretty good at the school. Uh, and that has to be a reflection of what's going on with the rest of the city. And uh, I, I'm all for it. I, let's, let's don't get cocky and take our put off the gas too quick. All right. Um, well, I can, I can have something prepared for the next work session then. Um, one other thing I was going to mention, and I, I think Jason had something too, but uh, on February 3rd, it's World Read Aloud Day, and uh, the library and the friends of the library are hosting uh, author Dan Gutman 
Uh, that's a pretty big deal. I know Terry and the library staff are really excited about that. Uh, so be sure to keep your eyes open for that. It'll be really cool to have a, a national author uh, reading aloud to children in Lansing. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, so keep your eyes open for that on February 3rd. Uh, Jason, I, you, you, you had something too. Just wanted to follow up real quickly. Uh, we're currently taking registration for uh, spring soccer. And if you recall what we did in the fall was we signed everything that masks were required basically for every, everybody that wasn't playing uh, actively in the game. And I just wanted to follow up and assuming things uh, stay on track and, and we're able to have the spring season, was everybody comfortable with doing the same thing this spring? Hey, Jason. Yes, think sir. We're, uh, you think we're tracking the same thing for um, spring baseball, summer baseball? You think we can continue the, the same practice so we can do that as well? I believe so, if, if, that's, if that's what council would like to do, as long as things don't go south on us really bad. I think that's kind of what we're planning on at this point in time. I saw a lot of thumbs up, okay. so I think that's right. all right. Like Thank you. Okay and that's all I have, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Uh, we'll go through the council members. Greg, you're first. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I just want to welcome Ron to the council. Um, it's, it's good to have you as your uh, co-ward four uh, council member. And, uh, you know, the mayor's moving out of our ward, so we don't, we don't get to harass him that much anymore. But um welcome uh i hope you enjoy your your time on the council and uh, i look forward to working with you in the future and mayor on this day in 1954 the world's first nuclear powered submarine the uss nautilus was launched in groton connecticut by mamie eisenhower the first lady of the united states and that's all i have mayor okay Brian, you got anything just uh, glad to be a part of the team and uh, looking forward to getting caught up to speed and looking forward to contributing. All right. Gary. Ron, welcome aboard. I'm looking forward to working with you. This is a good group of people. Uh, I think we are making a very good decision by sticking with the mass mandate for another month. And I think we're doing the right thing. I don't think this is going away anytime soon. So I think we made a good call. And that's all I have, Mayor. All right, thank you, Gary. Don? Uh, yes, Mayor. Uh, Ron, want to welcome you to the, uh, to the council. Looking forward to working with you and getting to know you a little better. Uh, I agree with uh, extending the mask mandate. Uh, we may even want to look at, uh, instead of just taking it in chunks of a month at a month, we may want to look at going 60 days, but that's for discussion during our work session. Thank you. Thank you. Dave. Ron, welcome aboard. Thank and you. then I have, a, I have a question for Mr. Studnicka. Have you opened up uh, mentoring for your mustache? I see you've got Greg on board. Uh, there's some other people I want to know if you have an open class on that. Uh, no, not really. I'm taking registrations, though. You're taking registrations? Okay. Greg's looking good there. You keep getting him trained, man. <laughs> it, it's good. It's going to take about 75 years before mine gets to look like Don's. <laughs> okay. Anything um, else, Dave? <laughs> that'll do it, man. <laughs> yeah, that, that's quite enough from Dave. Uh, Mr. Dixon, welcome aboard. I think you'll, uh, I think you'll enjoy your time. It's going to be an eye opening experience for you. That's for sure. Uh, hats off to the city crew and the snow removal. Uh, congratulations, Don. And I happen to agree with Don. Uh, I, I would rather extend it out and then have to cut it off and then get to cut it off as opposed to keep adding it on and on and on. But, but uh, I think the numbers prove we're heading in the right direction. Uh, I know the vaccines are coming out, but they're not coming near as fast as we had anticipated. 
So, so we'll, we'll keep on mask, wash your hands, social distance. That's all I have. All right. Thanks, Shane. Marcus. Hey, I'd like to welcome our new member. Um, it's going to be great. It's going to be great having you over there. We'll actually get a lot of work, you know, get a lot of things going on. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's great to have you on, it's great to have you on board. Hey, Don, I appreciate you standing up and, and taking that role on again in that position. I appreciate you doing that for us, Don Studnick. I appreciate that. And um, do we do we have any information on as as Gene brought up with the vaccines? Do we have any information reference? mass production of those vaccines increasing in the numbers within our city or within Leavenworth or uh, National Guard being brought in, distribute these things? I mean, anything at all? Uh, I would direct you to the health department. They're kind of the, the, the point on this entire endeavor. So in terms of drilled down into the numbers, I would definitely um, reach out. And if Tim or I do that, I think definitely reach out to uh, Jamie Miller at the health department and see if we can get some more specific information that's specific to Lansing. If that's what they're looking for. Yeah, I know the state went to phase two today. So anybody 65 and older. Phase two has got a big group. I mean, that includes teachers, essential workers, which is warehouse people, truck drivers. Uh, phase two is going to be a huge group. So, uh, I'm a truck driver. We just got to keep doing what we're doing until it gets here, folks. A good question. We'll, we'll, we'll try and find something out. Marcus. Yeah, thanks. Because, Tony, you and I are in a lot of those same meetings, so we're hearing it. We know it's coming. Yeah. I just didn't know what Leavenworth County or, or Leavenworth or Lansing is receiving as far as when this comes, you know, and how it's going to be distributed and all that kind of stuff. So that would be great. Uh um, Tim, uh, for you and Mike, I really appreciate uh, the light poles are going in. I'm excited about it there on Gilman. I really appreciate you guys supporting me on getting that done. That's yeah, all I can. Okay, thanks. Jesse? Yeah, uh, just like everybody else, congrats, Ron, on uh, welcome to the board. Um, it's uh, it's going to be an endeavor. It's fun to be a part of it, though. It really is. I uh, wasn't sure whether you're aware that the mayor's house is actually on Ida Street between your house and my house. So if we ever need to gang up on him, just give me a call. I'll meet you in the middle of his house. All right. So, <laughs> uh, thanks to Rich Hannon for volunteering for the Planning Commission. You know, that's a big deal. We, uh, we really need our volunteers in the city. We really appreciate all those people that do that. Um, I'll speak for the other side of the fence as usual. I don't agree with a mask mandate. I think we're adults. I think business owners can run their own businesses and do what they need to do to keep their um, their clientele and their employees safe because we're all adults in this world. And with that, I will make a motion to adjourn. Second. I have a motion and a second to adjourn. I'll roll. Mr. Bueller? Yes. Mr. Dixon? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Brungart? Yes. Mr. Stundica? Yes. Mr. Trinkle? Yes. Mr. Kirby? Yes. Mr. Major? Yes. Mr. Garvey? Yes. All right, we are adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Tony, Tony you, right. look good back here, man. you look good in that chair, Tony. Good night, everybody. Have a good weekend. Good night. Good night.